the first anchor rope drops to the ground, closely followed by the second. 6.25 p.m. Suddenly, the crowds on the ground see flames appear around the fin. Then the airship's nose rears up. Tables and chairs slide backwards. Passengers tumble down. Werner Werner feels the air turn to a furnace-like heat. Suddenly the air was on fire. In an instant the whole thing was on fire. The world's largest flying machine is now a blazing inferno. 97 people, including the three Werner children, are trapped inside the Hindenburg, 60 meters above the ground. 36 passengers are just moments from disembarking from the Hindenburg when disaster strikes. In the control car, the crew feel a massive jolt. An officer shouts, the ship's on fire. The nose rears up over 100 meters above the ground. The fire roars through the airship. Within seconds, the Hindenburg is engulfed in flames. Werner Franz is trapped on the walkway on the lower deck. He must find a way out before the flames reach him. So Franz? Right away, this bang told you that a major catastrophe had happened. You knew right away the airship was lost. The airship was burning and couldn't be saved. Werner stumbles along the gangway, looking for a way out, but he trips and falls. He grabs the rope handrail and holds on. As I was hanging onto these ropes, everything I had experienced in my life came back as if it were a film. Werner sits on the gangway and kicks through the canvas. He jumps out of the blazing airship and onto the ground five meters below. Gripped with fear, he runs away into the arms of a fellow crew member. I lost control and started screaming, and he put me right again, saying, What's the matter? You're all right, aren't you? Control yourself. Go and see if you can help someone. But Werner is too terrified to return into the flaming wreckage. These half-burned creatures came running past me. Nothing could persuade me to go back into the airship. The fire rushes up the airship. The Derners are still in the passenger lounge. If they don't get out now, they'll burn. But they're still nine meters up. Matilda Derner shouts to her 14-year-old daughter Irena to jump out of the window. But the girl is too frightened. Mrs. Turner picks up her eight-year-old son, Werner. She tries to throw him out of the window, but he falls back. Somehow, she finds the strength to lift him again. This time, she succeeds, and Werner falls to the ground with his brother. Okay. She turns to her dress.